Boeing has long shaped the world of modern aviation from the groundbreaking 707 to the legendary 747. But its dominance is now being challenged as China's C919 and Russia's MC21 have transformed from unimaginable ambitions into formidable global competitors. Their rapid rise signals a major shift in aerospace power and increasingly fierce competition in the skies. This is not just a technological race, but also a challenge to the very leadership of global aviation. Why is this shift happening now? How are these new competitors changing the future of aviation? Let's find out. Boeing's lead in commercial aviation is increasingly precarious as a combination of technical, operational, financial, and geopolitical challenges has created cracks in its once solid dominance. One of the most serious blows has been the 737 MAX crisis. Two deadly crashes followed by a prolonged global grounding have not only eroded trust between airlines and passengers, but also highlighted deeper problems with Boeing's design certification processes and internal safety culture. Moreover, the recovery from the crisis has been slow with regulatory scrutiny, retraining requirements and compensation, adding to the pressure on the company's finances and reputation. Operationally, Boeing has struggled with inefficiencies in its manufacturing and supply chain. The 787 Dreamliner has been repeatedly delayed due to quality control issues at multiple global suppliers. Labor shortages, rising material costs, and logistical bottlenecks have compounded these challenges, reducing Boeing's ability to deliver planes on time and remain competitive against rivals that have streamlined production. Boeing's over-reliance on a limited product portfolio, mainly the 737 and 787, has also exposed it to market risks as airlines increasingly demand fuel-efficient multi-role jets that can adapt to changing travel patterns post-pandemic. Financially, these challenges have led to rising costs, missed revenue targets, and diminished investor confidence. Boeing has been forced to cut production delay new projects and secure large financing packages just to stabilize operations. Meanwhile, geopolitical tensions and trade restrictions have further constrained Boeing's global reach. Sanctions tariffs and strained U.S.-China relations have complicated sales and supply agreements in key markets, limiting growth opportunities that were once thought certain. In particular, these technical flaws, operational inefficiencies, financial pressures, and geopolitical restrictions combine to create a perfect storm of vulnerabilities. They leave Boeing vulnerable to emerging competitors like China's C919 and Russia's MC21, which are entering global markets with advanced designs, efficient manufacturing strategies, and strong state support. The once untouchable aviation giant is now facing an unprecedented challenge to its leadership leaving Boeing's future and the balance of global commercial aviation less certain than ever. Your support helps us produce more interesting aviation videos. Remember to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell to follow the next part of this exploration. Thank you. The global aviation landscape is undergoing a major shift with power shifting sharply eastward. China has emerged as the world's largest aviation market, and Russia is determined to gain independence in the aerospace industry amid ongoing Western sanctions. As for China's aviation industry, the country has grown into a formidable force supported by both an expanding domestic market and ambitious state-led initiatives. Leading carriers such as China Southern and China Eastern dominate the domestic market controlling around 15% and 14% respectively, and passenger traffic continues to grow steadily year on year. Analysts predict that China's commercial fleet could double by 2043 reflecting not only soaring demand for air travel, but also the country's strategic goal of achieving technological self-sufficiency in the aerospace industry. This expansion is supported by large-scale state-funded infrastructure projects, including the construction of new airports upgrades of existing hubs and the development of expanded domestic and international routes.
digital technologies from AI-based air traffic management systems to advanced predictive maintenance platforms are being deployed to improve efficiency, optimize schedules, and enhance the passenger experience. Together, these measures create an ecosystem that promotes the rapid adoption of domestically produced aircraft, such as the C919, while also strengthening China's influence in regional and global aviation networks. Meanwhile, Russia is pursuing a parallel path with the MC-21 program demonstrating its strategic commitment to self-reliance in the aerospace industry. Faced with constraints imposed by Western sanctions, Moscow has prioritized the development of next-generation aircraft designed to reduce dependence on foreign suppliers while meeting modern airlines' demands for efficiency, reliability, and cost-effectiveness. The MC-21 incorporates advanced composite materials, modern avionics and aerodynamic improvements that enhance fuel efficiency and reduce noise, directly positioning it as a competitor to the Boeing 737 MAX and Airbus A320neo. China's C919, meanwhile, reflects this approach incorporating modern lightweight materials, efficient engines and systems designed to minimize fuel consumption and environmental impact. Both aircraft are positioned to offer airlines tangible economic and operational benefits. Lower operating costs improved reliability and compliance with increasingly stringent global emissions standards. The development and deployment of these jets is heavily supported by government funding, allowing for accelerated research production and licensing. This funding also allows for competitive pricing strategies, giving both aircraft a distinct advantage in markets where cost efficiency is key. Taken together, China's jet and Russia's jet represent a coordinated challenge to Western aerospace dominance. Their rise is accelerating the redistribution of power in the global aviation industry, demonstrating that state-backed innovation, strategic market positioning, and strong domestic demand can successfully disrupt Boeing's dominance. The rapid development of these aircraft underscores a broader reality. The future of commercial aviation will no longer be defined solely by Western manufacturers, but rather a more multipolar competitive landscape where emerging Eastern powers are asserting their position as major powers. The pricing strategy and long-term economic planning behind China and Russia are carefully calculated. They are a highly effective challenge to Boeing's long-standing dominance of the global narrow-body market. The C919, in particular, is said to be priced significantly lower than its Western competitors made possible by massive state subsidies government-backed financing, and a national commitment to building an independent aviation ecosystem. These subsidies allow Chinese manufacturers to absorb development costs, offer generous purchasing incentives, and undercut Boeing in ways that the U.S. manufacturer cannot without destabilizing its financial structure. In contrast, Russia's MC-21 project takes a slightly different but equally strategic approach. While the current list price of around $90 million is higher than that of the C919, the aircraft benefits from a flexible modular design that reduces maintenance, complexity, simplifies fleet integration, and allows airlines to tailor configurations to their operational needs. Furthermore, the Russian government has outlined a long-term plan to gradually reduce aircraft prices by around 2% per year, leveraging state support and a domestic supply chain to improve competitiveness over time. In addition, this deliberate cost reduction model positions the MC-21 as an increasingly attractive alternative for airlines seeking efficiency modern technology and reduced dependence on Western aircraft. Overall, the C919 and MC-21 hold a strong economic advantage they offer modern performance at lower acquisition and operating costs. More precisely, it is something that many cost-sensitive airlines in developing markets prioritize. Affordable prices coupled with strong political backing have allowed them to attract early international interest despite diplomatic pressure from Western governments to encourage continued reliance on Boeing and Airbus. Globally, the competitive landscape is changing with several countries, 
making early commitments to buy them, reflecting a broader trend in emerging economies to diversify away from Western-made aircraft. Economic considerations, regional geopolitical alignments, and a desire to enhance supply chain resilience are pushing airlines and governments to explore these new options. As a result, Boeing, once part of an undisputed duopoly with Airbus, is now facing increasing constraints on its market influence. The rise of these state-backed Eastern aircraft programs signals more than just competitive pricing. It also marks the beginning of a profound restructuring of global aerospace dynamics. What was once a stable market between the two sides is evolving into a multipolar competition where costs, politics, and national strategies intersect, reshaping the future of commercial aviation. A turnaround that Boeing never expected is now happening in real time. China's C919 has secured its first foreign deliveries, while domestic carriers Air China, China Eastern, and China Southern together operate around 20 of the aircraft and continue to expand their fleets. While COMAC initially projected high volumes by 2025, those ambitions have been hampered by supply chain constraints and a reliance on key foreign components, most notably the GE Safran Leap 1C engine. Production is still rising steadily, however, as China works to further localize its aircraft supply chain. Internationally, the aircraft's presence at major events like the Dubai Air Show signals China's intent to position the jet as a worthy competitor in the international market, even while it awaits key Western certifications like ESA and FAA. Each appearance is part of a broader strategy to build a global image normalize the aircraft in the international community and gradually expand its influence beyond China. By contrast, Russia's MC-21 is moving closer to certification despite tough sanctions that have forced the program to replace many Western systems. Rather than slowing progress, these restrictions have spurred a push for self-sufficiency in Russia's aerospace industry, resulting in the MC-21-310 variant powered by Russian-made PD-14 engines. The aircraft demonstrates Moscow's determination to reduce its dependence on Western suppliers and create its own sphere of aviation influence. Once considered as regional experiments to develop the potential of the regime, they are now operational receiving orders and possibly moving towards real growth. Their rise marks a profound shift in the global aviation landscape after decades of Western dominance that initially seemed unbreakable. Looking ahead, Boeing faces a series of crucial questions. Will it launch an entirely new narrow-body program to compete with these emerging rivals? Can Boeing rebuild trust and stability after years of crisis delays and reputational damage? And perhaps most importantly, are we witnessing the beginning of a truly multipolar era of aviation? where Boeing and Airbus are no longer the absolute rulers of the global skies. So do you think Boeing's situation will change for the better or for the worse? Leave your comments below. Have a safe flight, goodbye, and see you again.